Hello and welcome back to Ireland. I am Virgil Gaming and I'll be your host this evening. We are very nearly ready to declare ourselves the King of Ireland. We have made it through many obstacles. Wait, is this disease gone? Is it just not loaded in? No, the disease appears to have vanquished. Very good. Open gates. Right, uh, known plots. We have you trying to kill her. Who are you? Hey, the King of whatever. Yeah, I don't care about that. Prisoners, we have Perrien of West March, married to my vassal, so we'll release her. We're a good man. Vassal isn't too fond of me, but we need more land. You will not join my uh, vassal, unless I built the title. If I created the title that you meet, which I cannot afford, you would join me. So we'll... Uh, Oh, the council is now in favour. Good. I declare the war. Forward. He only has 500 men. You only have 700 men, so maybe we could deal with you as well. Force vassalization? No, they wouldn't. Okay, well, we will uh, not call in. Oh, of course, you're my vassal now. Yes, I have to remember where I am. Alright. I mean, you're not my ally now. You are my vassal. So we're going to call all of these boyos together. We're going to amass them here. Terrific. Damn, we go. I'm not going to worry about the army composition because it's just one small area. Bishop uh, Giller has published his work on the four humours. His ideas about black bile, phlegm, blood and yellow bile and how they can be manipulated to treat different ailments has been received with much acclaim by scholars. The Bishop, the wicked, a eh, wicked priest. Monthly party goes down but religious same trade opinion goes up. Still, he gains renowned precision and uh, 100 prestige for him. Good man. Oh, and for me. Oh, good. Well, I don't mind that. Excellent. Well, we'll uh, give him a promotion. He can be on our council. As for the spy master, we don't have. Yes, we do. Uh, my wife is better than you, so we'll replace you with her. We'll get her to study technology in uh, Paris. Send my wife to Paris. Get rid of her. And uh, Marshall, we have a 13 here. He, he's fine enough to do it. And the Chancellor is a 9, but... Hmm. He's had the job for a very long time, so we'll leave him with it. Okay. Other positions currently available is Commander. We have this Commander slot we can give to you. Good man. Right, well, let's take care of Carl uh, uh, Sildara. Or Kildara. Not sure how that's exactly pronounced. What is English doing here? The English are attacking Mumu in English war to make him pay tribute. The English have 10,000 men. I do not have 10,000 men. We must unify England against this English threat. Who is the current monarch? It is Richard, King Richard of England. He's quite a fool. So hopefully his realm does not uh, honour him. I say he's quite a fool. He's probably got better stats than me. But oh well, we'll uh, do what we can here. So you... I don't know if you are. But we need people to be against the English. The English are a threat to the realm. The realm of men is uh, under attack from these English... Oh, good. Paris works. Dangerous factions, you say. Increase council power. Hmm. Heal. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. Alright, well let's get through here and uh, take our money and leave. I like the money. I want the money. Give me the money. Renew Jihad. Disturbing news. The unthinkable has happened. The holy city of Mecca has fallen to infidels and the Kaaba is even now being defiled by the very presence. His Magnificence Caliph Al-Kahim has declared that the era of Renew Jihad is upon the world. The holy city must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join ranks of the Mahjdeen uh, for upcoming struggles. This signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. Are you sure? I think it renews the opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite of, ex opposite of expansion. The Pakeshi Order, a Sufri sect of Devishes, has arisen under the leadership of certain Hajdi Baktesh Wali. A mystic from Khorasan, striving for unity of being. Paketis train the soul through meditation and contemplation of the inner meaning of the Quran. The 
Bakeshti Order is warlike, especially popular among Sunni Muslim soldiers. The Order has sworn to protect Islam and combat infidels. It's got 500 gold and zero men. Jihad for Arabia. The Abbasids are declaring it. That's, yeah, this is uh, unique. The uh, the African cleansing flame has uh, has done quite a good job down here. Well done, you boys. Yeah, beating back those Arabs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought maybe the Africans took over here as well, but just this minor area. Nubians, Africans, same thing. Uh, in my mind, when I'm talking in terms of CK2. Excellent, you have won. Give us the title. He should like me a bit now, and he does. Terrific. If you could leave that faction, it would be great. I would really appreciate you leaving the faction. Not everyone will stand down correctly. What about now? Good. Now, we, we could do with you. You have a truce with me. And then defense pact against the Irish. I could claim some land. I could claim Ligon in his name. I just really need money. I wish to create... This. I need 100 piety. And a gold and two duchy titles. However, if I were to take over another duchy, would the same laws still apply? Knort. We have Meath ready to rock. So we can create that once we get 193 gold. So I need a lot of gold. I need money. Money is what I need. We could focus on business. We're not the best of stewards, but we'll give it a go. We'll see uh, how this happens. My half-sister is ready for an education. She is pretty good at diplomacy and martial and learning, but we'll give... Uh, oh, we can do learning. Excellent, we'll give her that. Two factions are still there, and Vassal Levy's been raised too long is quite a concern. We have 1,600 men. Taking over this guy would lead to a lot of money. It really would, because there's a lot of places here to besiege. And him, currently, he doesn't have... Tell you much. I could claim this land in his name. That'll make him like me a bit more, which is always nice. But I don't want to risk them getting too strong. Or we could claim in the name of you. Ah, of course, you. Osrion, Oslex, but not the other one. It's my steward. The mayor, Patrick, could be. Uh, but then he'll take away the thing with him. No, let's just do it in the name of the, uh, the man here. We'll do it in his name. I can call him my ally, and I shall not. I shall not. He doesn't even have many men. Let's raise up these fools that we have. Fools, forces, whatever they are. And we'll march onto these areas and we'll besiege all that we can, because I require money. I took a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strengths. After many hours of soul-searching, I realized that I... Proud or humble? Vassal opinion? Same opinion, but piety. Piety sounds better. I have became uh, become a humble man. Excellent. Well, our enemy here are relatively strong, so I should take a bit of uh, concern here. Domhal can lead. Dunchad can take one flank. We'll have you on the other flank. Let's just march straight into them and hope that we... Ooh. More men. Never mind. We're a bit better than we thought. Still, let's go in here and let's deal with these fools. Excellent. What is this? Hunting dog will be removed. Oh, no. Uh, your dog takes an arrow for you. Or I chase down this man for a personal duel. We saw just tend to the wounded animal. Oh, I can beat him. Where is the enemy commander? I walk away victorious. Terrific game. Prestige. I am a great prestigious man. And let's celebrate by doing all this. What is it? Apostate? Huh? Could throw in the dungeon. But this game's more piety. I do like piety. We need piety. Become a king, you need to be a pious man. Now let's uh, let's storm through these places. Not storm, but... Ooh. We must get over here now. We'll take advantage of the dropped morale. And he's going to be here as well with his 400 on men. Terrific. So we do have numerical advantage. We're just about able to win. Good. Thank you to our enemies for giving us a head start there. And thank you to the other lords for helping. 
As for you, you'll be uh, ordered to take vows. I lose. Ah, we don't want to lose piety. It's a shame. We'll just throw him in a ubilet then. Good luck to him. Heal. Today, so cause your hunted dog suddenly flew into a rage. Why? I, I save your life. You could have taken an arrow from me, but I save your life, and you do this. Bunny pause again. Who? Ain. Oh, no, she lost both of her children. Oh, Mr. Handsome, your line is over. She'll be burnt. Where'd all these apostates come from, then? They weren't here previously. Oh, we do have 200 gold. Excellent. So we need a couple hundred still more for the other title. So we'll simply stay here at the moment. Oh, successful jihad. That's a shame. After council meeting, uh, Gila asked me to exchange a few words in private. Apparently he has uncovered a rumour concerning a rare artefact. He believes there was some truth to the rumour and urged me to have it searched for. When he gives a search for a rare artefact, you'll find more depending on the skills and dates. Good. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of this 14 gold as well. Excellent news, some more gold as well. We need 400 odd. So it will be great. Don't miss the founding of a new kingdom, but we, we won't do that. So we'll simply found the kingdom of Ireland. My half-sister, Countess Lan, has asked me to spend some quality family time in her house. I am sure the idea to become better friends is is good. That sounds nice. It is always good to be good friends with your dear sister. She is also married to a Dunkeld. Good for her. Unfortunate. Your hunted dog ran away and went roaming the castle. He was very aggressive, chasing several servants and then fleeing in terror. This is the worst dog ever. Henry does not like the dog at all. I feel bad for you, Henry. I really do. This is not planned. I didn't plan for my dog to be... Oh, good. Assassins. Good for them. They can do whatever the fuck they want down uh, down in Rabia. They won't be concerned to us over here in the civilised world of Ireland. Come on, boys. I'll bury her. Oh, he died. Faithful... Your trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Long has he served you since you first received him as a puffy. It's time to bury your old friend. Hey Dan, thank you for the dog. Shoot me next to you because you popped up here. He deserves a proper funeral. Kindly castle. No, proper funeral. Oh good, 25 gold. That's very useful. Let's go through their army into the next province. If I can siege it or not, I'm not sure. I can. He wants peace, but I want shekels. So we're going to wait here until we can get through these extra provinces because shekels make the world go round. They make us the king of Ireland. And being the king of Ireland is the best thing ever. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, that's actually the end. <laughs> that's the end. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll just enforce our peace. We'll take this extra province and we will be happy for it. He will be happy for it. Dying of cancer, but still happy for us. Let's put down the army. Let's form the Duchy of Meath. There's two of you double lords here. They'd be fighting over it. But let's create the Duchy of Meath. Again, 200 prestige cost me a lot of gold. And then we'll be crowned the King of Ireland. Excellent. The important decisions are available. Organize a coronation ceremony, of course. Only the Pope is fit to crown me. Any priest will do my court chaplain. He's, he's a good man. He's saved our life. He's a renowned physician. Yes, he will do. He's not any priest. He is the court chaplain of Ireland. He will do. Where is his chapel? He's over, over here. We could even give him uh, give him that. It's worth a lot to me now, but I could make him a higher rank in the region. He's 46. He's got time. I have three promises. That's the third. Um, no, he doesn't need it. I can now hold four anyway. Uh, I have a new heir, Tanist Henry of Ireland. Good. Right, success and nomination. Let's vote for our son, of course. Terrific. Our dynasty is very small, however. We need to breed. And as a homosexual man, it is a struggle. Anyway, uh, build a war chest, groom an heir. I would like to groom the heir. That'd be great. We'll do that. And of course, my uh, half sister Deirdre, she could be used for matrilineal marriage. I'm not sure he would be able to get out of this. Any uh, local local lords? Range marriage, matrilineal to anyone of the court? No. Hmm. You sure there's no Irishman around who would like to join our court? Uh, join court, yes, from the realm, of course. 
Any younger ones? She is quite a younger lady. You are 16. Bit of a intriguey sort of man. From the house here, which holds lands in my realm. Good, but you're not in the direct line of succession, so... I don't feel bad about inviting you over to have a matrimonial marriage. Excellent, he is here. I'll arrange you a marriage to... Oh, of course we have to do it. Betrayal. You'll have a betrayal to my daughter, uh, half-sister Deirdre. Although we can't really do matrimonial, it's against the rules. I don't like to do matrilineal marriages unless I'm a female ruler, and she is not the ruler. So what we'll do is actually just leave her unmarried, but we'll keep this, keep this man around. An advisor slot, we'll give that to you. You are very powerful. My half-sister, she's good at money. Can we actually give her a position as steward? No. Can we get a better marshal? We can, but not a lord. Could I just give the position to you of Westmeath? I will. I will give you the position. And Chancellor, he's getting pretty old. He could retire if he wants to, but he doesn't want to. No one's better than him, so we'll leave him in the position. Excellent. Minor titles. Let's get a St. Charles involved. We'll give it to you, good sir. The court jester. We'll give it to, uh, give it to this man. The keeper of the swans we'll give to you here. And the court tutor will give that to uh, Ambitious. It's good. Ambitious, but they're both cravens. We won't do one. Uh, commander slots will give to people of worth who are not currently occupied. It appears to be you guys. Congratulations. I knew you like me now. Good. I knew I'd sway you. Swayed you both. Yes, my dearest sister. Could appoint you as the uh, advisor here. Advisor should be my sister, but it, I mean it could be my sister, but it should be him. But I trust my sister more. What kind of a man am I? Humble, temperate, cynical, patient. Um, no, we'll give it to our lord. Temperate, moderation. I like my sister. I'm going to give it to my sister, as I do like her. We have plus one hundred of each other. She's very loyal. Vassal, so we will give it to her. Now, you, would you like to join our realm? Of course you would. Right, you. No? Oh, we may have to uh, do something here. We have a Dijon claim on your land. I'd rather just give the High Lordship to my sister, however. What is this? To the excellent King Ed of Ireland, I shall be honoured to officiate His Majesty's coronation, provided His Majesty donates a small sum of money to the Holy Mother Church as a show of his devotion. Excellent. 50 gold. Very understandable. Now that I have found a Catholic priest willing to crown me, I must decide how much I wish to spend on the ceremony. Oh, I can't afford terribly much. I'll have a private ceremony, I guess. Uh, celebration fit for a king. Only my council members or your vassals to join. I have to go into a bit of debt here. It's, it is necessary. We'll go into a bit of debt for this uh, coronation. The time of my coronation draws near, only a few more days before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. My court has been already filled with all of the vassals of the realm who have come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. You have a new heir. My uh, sister is now the the heir. She's known as the usurper. I sort of put her in power there. This morning a curious visitor came to my court, his wandering knight who travelled to this area after hearing news of my upcoming coronation. He has proclaimed that he wishes to pledge his sword to my service. You are welcome. He is a good man. For some time, I've been worried about Steward uh, Patrick's progress, or rather the lack thereof. Now my worst fears have been confirmed as a consequence of Patrick's carelessness, and accidents has occurred and a large amount of the resources has been ruined. That's a shame. And apparently I'm becoming a rival with uh, this man here, so we're going to replace him in the council. Although I am now finally and truly king, I kneel before Bishop uh, Giller as a host of vassals. Wait, what? Yeah, it is him. Uh, surround us in complete silence. The bishop blesses me and places the crown upon my head. Proclaim me king of Ireland by grace of God. 
I returned from the battlefield, I still don't feel at home. My body is here, but my mind is still in Sildara. Sometimes I wonder if I died there, and if this is all a nightmare. Sometimes I cannot breathe. I can gain celibate, gain depressed, lustful, or and drunkard, or rough and stressed. I don't want to be celibate. I really don't. I have one son. Uh, I, I'll take lustful and drunk. I'll be a lustful drunk. It's a shame that I've turned this way, but I am now the king, and I will do as I please. Excellent. Well, we are we can't go to war just yet because we are in debt. But I'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying the series. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Goodbye.